Sound check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Uh. Oh, hell. Give me the goddamn soap. Hello. Welcome back, Wild Strawberry Garage. It's a beautiful day in the mountains. It's a great day to be a strawberry. Uh, today, what are you going to see? Uh, you're going to see me bash my finger. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and you're going to see some mock-up stuff. So I had, I got together, um, I had an old junk 350 here and I got some headers for it and uh, empty transmission case and I just wanted to start mocking up in the front here to make sure I have clearance where I need it, make sure things are going to fit, you know, so I don't eliminate some surprises moving forward when I go towards uh, having my, my real engine in there. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, also partially to see where I can put my last roll bar, because I haven't put that in yet. So I'm doing a bunch of mock-up, and then uh, cutting the transmission tunnel out. Uh, what else? Putting springs in, getting the front suspension dialed in there, and uh, yeah, some other fun stuff. We're gonna get after it here, and uh, yeah, enjoy. bunch of mock-up stuff so this is a junk 350 it was locked up it's got a bunch of holes that are bad um, so I'm gonna put my the pan that I'm gonna use my racing pan on that make sure I can clear um, all my steering all my steering rack and everything like that uh, this is an empty transmission case I'm gonna be putting that in there so I can make up my removable tunnel so I'll be cutting that tunnel out and then uh, I got a bell housing over there. It's not, it's not gonna be a scatter shield like the one I'm gonna use, but it'll get me in the neighborhood. And then these headers I'm also gonna use to mock up. They'll go on this block. I have some junk heads as well that came off of this. So I'm gonna pop those on and make sure I'm gonna clear my roll bar and make sure they're gonna get under the frame rails where I want them. So yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be my plan for today. And uh, just start chipping through this next list. Let's get after it. Okay, I got my mock-up engine made up. Uh, next step I'm gonna be going after is cutting out the floor for my transmission tunnel. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna mark it out, cut it, and then uh, I'm gonna slip this thing in there, test fit the headers, and then uh, probably make up this last bar that I need to make up and the door bars, and then, yeah, we'll keep moving on down that list. cut out um, so I'm getting ready to drop this in and one of the reasons I want to do this is it's ballast and I've used a, a junk engine that still has the crank and the pistons and the cam and everything in it um, 
And also, I put iron heads on there. So it's going to be a little heavier than the engine I'm going to use, but I'm not, I don't have the rest of the stuff in here. So I'm hoping that the weight kind of evens itself out. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be able to put my springs in, and they're going to kind of act like, hopefully, like they will uh, when, I, when I have the, the real engine I'm going to use in here. Um, so part of this is getting the, the ride height set up, and part of it is just for mock-up, making sure my headers will clear and all, all the rest of that stuff I already mentioned. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to pop some springs in here and then drop this whole mock-up set up in there. So there's a pocket in the top of these and in the, and in the lower control arms. And this one I can tell is not in its pocket. So it's, it's holding this thing up. Okay, that's that. Let's drop this engine in there. Next thing, I'm going after my headers. I have here our hooker super comps. Um, they're all right. They're, these tubes are bigger, so they're gonna breathe really nice. Um, they're bigger, so they're gonna breathe really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get them slipped under the frame rail, see if they're gonna be where I want them, see how they're gonna be uh, you know, with my steering box and with, my, with the one fork that I have in. And this will tell me really where I'm gonna put this last bar um, so I can really close this cage out. But I'm gonna get these on, and then I'll, I'll show you inside what, with that, with that floor, kind of the things I was going for, and how it's gonna work. Um, but yeah, and then I'll give you, you know, a little bit of a closer look at everything I just did. So I'm gonna get these headers on first, and then we'll go over everything. So these heads are super rusty. They've been outside for a long time. That side I got in, no problem, but this side I'm gonna have to tap them before I uh, can put the headers on. Nice. New plan. I just broke uh, like four, four bolts in there. So I'm gonna take this head off and put on another junk head that I have just lying around. So yeah, let's do that instead. I'm not mad, you're mad. I'm not mad, you're mad. Get the fuck out of here! Turns out I bashed my finger pretty good. Nail's about to come off. It's all purple already. So I'm just gonna clean it and then I'll get back to uh, whatever the hell I was doing before.
Oh. I got it, and it only cost me one fingernail. Let's check this thing out, see what I did. So, my hooker super comps are clearing the frame rails nicely. Everything's fitting in here. I got clearance from my roll bar. That was good. That was one I kind of gambled on and just guessed. So that worked out okay. This side, as you can see, these headers are a bit bashed in. I'm gonna have to do something about that if I wanna use these. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna use, but these were perfect for mock-up. Good clearance down here. And they're exiting right, really right where I want them. So I'll have the rest of these straight pipes, you know, right down the side. Uh, the springs are in their pockets. Boom. And that's actually pretty good. I don't know what kind of springs they had, if they cut them or what. But it's actually riding nice and low. And uh, I'm okay with this. I mean, I'd like to get it down a little bit. Maybe a half inch or so. But I still have some weight to add in the front. So I think it'll go down. Um, I think it's going to really be right where I want it. So... Then let's look in here at my transmission tunnel. So the biggest thing I wanted when I was cutting this out, I wanted it to be far enough forward so I could get to those four, get to the four bolts. And those are nice and accessible. And then I also wanted to be able to get to the bolts back here on the drive shaft. So on the other side, there's gonna be a yoke here. On the other side of that is gonna be where the drive shaft bolts up. And I wanna be able to get that from the top. So that's all good. Uh, the last thing I really have to do in here is cut, a, a, so I have access, I have access to this bolt. I got to cut somewhere back here and make an access panel to get to the other bolt. So that way I can drop my removable cross member down from inside the car and I won't have to crawl underneath. You know, I can work like a real gentleman. So moving forward, what I'm going to do, but I have everything mocked up in there and I know stuff's going to fit. Uh, I can now I'm more, I'm more comfortable uh, putting in my last roll bars, putting in the last couple roll bars I have to do, and uh, this gives me a good place to to go off of with fitting the nose. So I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to hopefully get to that. And uh, what else? Yeah, roll bar nose. Yeah, and then that's going to put me in a good spot. And I got some surprises coming up here for the engine I'm building. Finally got some parts ordered and uh, that stuff's on the way. So we should have some, some neat episodes coming up. So yeah, a little bit more welding, a little bit more fitting, and then uh, we'll be on to some really fun stuff. Get after it. I got the last front bar in and I'm happy with it. They look pretty even to me. They're coming up in the same spot. It's just tacked right now. So yeah, front's looking nice. The front is looking nice. So what I'm gonna do is when I fit my nose on here, I'm gonna build some Zeus pedestals off of here, you know, wherever they might end up going. Um, and that's gonna help me get the fit in the front for the nose. So the last thing I wanna do today is get these door, get a door bar in here. Um, I've been leaving it out, been leaving it out for a couple reasons. Um, one, it's just easier to, to get in there and work without that, without this side having a door bar on it because I can crawl in there still. But uh, I'm gonna put, put them in there. I think I'll have enough stock to do another X um, instead of two straight bars. And I have a bend in, in this one now to bump out and give me some room in the driver's seat. So I'm ready to move here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to exit and uh, just see what I can get creative with and make it work. So we'll get after that and wrap this thing up. Oh, oh.
Okay, that's where I'm cutting this one. Uh, I got a good amount done today. And uh, yeah, so all that dry fit up there, all that rough, that rough fit with the engine and the headers and everything, I'm super happy with that because now, you know, once I pull that out, I can really build this engine uh, with a clear mind. And I know, I know it's gonna fit in there. I know my, the headers that I need to make it work. Um, and I can start getting, like I said, I can start getting this nose fit on there now for, uh, for final fit. And I can get after these Zeus fasteners. So now that I have everything where I can, I can put the body on, I'm gonna be tackling those Zeus fasteners amongst other things. Um, and I mentioned earlier that I have a new list. I do, I, I do have a nice big new list and we'll go over that next time. Um, there's some stuff on there about the engine and, and uh, you know, what I can do in the meantime. But what's cool is that I, like I think I said before, I have some stuff ordered. I have some, some stuff, some big stuff ordered and uh, I will be at a short block within the week. So that's super, super exciting. I, I can't wait to see how that thing turns out and here fire up for the first time. So once that gets going, I mean, there's really no stopping this. Um, so yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Uh, if you're inclined to, to help me out with the build, it's paypal.me backslash wildstrawberrygarage. Uh, I'll be doing some big, big shout outs for, uh, in the next video, you know, when I'm going over the whiteboard stuff, because I'll, I'll be going over some parts that I need and some parts that I've gotten. But I have some big shout outs to give out uh, some, some people who are supporting me in a really big way. And, and uh, I just, I can't thank them enough. But I'll get, all, I'll get into all that next time. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Wild Strawberry Garage signing out. Oh, God, I got to go ice my finger. <laughs> Ah, one last thing. If you made it to the end, thank you. Um, I want to do another giveaway, another garbage giveaway. Uh, this time it's going to be, well, oh yeah, I'll do another one of Old Sluggy. I still got some old pieces of roll cage. and So, the way it works, you got to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment, and uh, I'll pick someone at random in the comments. And then uh, when I pick you, DM me on, or, how did I do it last time? Yeah, so I'll pick you, shout you out in the next video, DM you on Instagram, and I'll get it sent out to you. So, yeah, another garbage giveaway.